But truth be told, we're not feeling that unappreciated in this conference. There's uh, Jeff, who's done a two-day workshop on story mapping. There was an hour on user stories. I mean, that's not so bad. So what we'd like to do, um, it works out quite nicely, because none of the points we make have been really covered by the other sessions, and they complement each other quite well. Okay? And we thought we'd invite Ganesh, because he's a marvelous fellow. He's the remover of obstacles, the legendary scribe, the patron of arts and science, and of intellect and wisdom. Is that appropriate? That's very appropriate. So Ganesh is with us. And we're going to tell you a tragic comedy about how Agile really screwed up. But we're working towards a happy ending. And of course, stories are everywhere. And everyone loves a good story, not just kids. And stories are how we relate our culture. And last night, I will admit, I did not stick around for the evening plenary or the dinner. I was suffering from a case of what Americans call TMI, which is too much information. <laughs> so I left. And in the newspaper was an ad for a dance at a temple. And I said, OK. So off I went to a little neighborhood temple. Um, it was lovely. Um, so the, it was outdoors, and all the, all the families came with their little kids. And the kids all sat in, in front. And the dancers, I couldn't understand the, the narration, of course. But there was a lot of uh, pantomime. And I think, although I'm not sure, I think it was the story of Krishna, who, who does all these tricks, and he's very mischievous. And then, uh, so there was one male dancer and four women, and he kept playing jokes on them, and they played jokes on him. And at one point, he jumps off the stage, goes down and sits among the kids who are just loving this. So as the women dancers are looking for him, he's hiding among the audience. And you could watch this scene of the parents and the children. They were all enjoying the storytelling in different ways. And clearly, the culture is getting communicated. Okay? So Dave said he'd tell a story because he was a good fellow, and he stayed here and worked. <laughs> so I said, all right, what did I miss?